Debbie, Debbie rocking her star. She knows all the great fashion trending in town. When it comes to time, that's not all. She's very wise and intelligent. She knows what she wants, so subscribe. Hello, welcome back to my channel once again. If this is your first time, you are welcome. My name is Debbie. If you have been watching, but you're still contemplating whether you should subscribe or not, what are you waiting for, guys? Please hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a video or when I decide to start my live streaming. To all my subscribers, new, old, I really appreciate your support. God bless you and bless anything you lay your hands on. Today, I quickly want to speak about this situation of Mercy Johnson Okoye. If you don't know Mercy Johnson, because she is not in the news often, Mercy Johnson Okoye is a Nollywood actress. She's one of the big ones out there. Uh, I don't know much about her, but I know that she's a wonderful actress, a fantastic one at that. She doesn't have a lot of, you know, drama surrounding her so much. The only drama I've ever heard about her is when she got married and that's water under the bridge. Anyway, she she has this cooking show whereby uh, celebrities will come in, cook with her. And she had this one with Joker Silva, whereby she spoke about her. Uh, uh, thyroid issue and I think I'm qualified to actually speak about this because I went through the same thing and even much more than our own however I'm not going to take too much of your time I've actually done a video about this even though I didn't go too deep into it but few people that are close to me through subscribing to my channel and you know me having live streaming and stuff you know I've reached out to them to actually talk to them I think Towards late, late last year, uh, since the beginning of this year, I've been a lot better. The emotional toll that this thing takes on you is even more than, you know, the news and everything. However, I saw a lot of comments, you know, people praying for Mercy Johnson about it. And I'm thinking to myself, she only said scare. I think a lot of people, the scare beat eludes them. Most of them were just talking about, oh, God will heal you from cancer, you know, things like that. But she actually said scare, cancer scare, not necessarily thyroid cancer. But I will explain a little bit about that. But before I go on, let's watch what she said and I will put it in a much more clear context for you guys. But she was with uh, Auntie Joker Silva, another Nollywood actress, a veteran Nollywood actress, and they have this discussion. Huge uh, lesson. Because mm, I've actually been here. I've yes. never discussed it where I, we had like um, a scare. Okay, who and who? I had like yes. um, a cancer skin coat. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I had like my thyroid removed. Removed, okay. Yeah, and it was like a journey for us because yes. we had heat. Um, yes. My last was three, was six months at that time. Yes. And then, you know, we kept saying, okay, we have to understand this is a new us. Mm -hmm. Let's go get the surgery done. Mm -hmm. and then we got there. They said I was going to be on medication for the rest of my life. And it was the reality that we had to sit down. Yeah. You know, then giving me a time and say, you can't mm -hmm. miss your medication. Mm -hmm. you make up that, mm -hmm. That's the first mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Telling me all of the side effects. So I'm reconciling with this. You're saying mm. it's the truth at the point when you realize this is where we are. This exactly. Let's grow from here exactly. and live in this comfort zone. Exactly. Okay. Oh my goodness. What an amazing, amazing interview. I, I had goosebumps as well. Cause anyway, you guys, um, that's, that's it about Mercy Johnson's situation. And when she said it, you know, I can relate so much to that because I've been through that and more like I told you guys. And a lot of people were literally, you know, they, most of them think that she was talking. I think they didn't hear the scare bit. So they thought she was talking about her having cancer and stuff. And they did not hear the part whereby she said it was a scare and her thyroid gland was removed. It sounds really easy, but it's not something that is, you know, maybe because mine, it, it took guys. about, okay. sorry, it took so, about eight years. First and foremost, thank you so much for all of you who have been calling and sending messages and prayers. Thank you. I do appreciate it so much. But I do not have cancer. I noticed that a clip from my TV show, Message Menu, has been flying around. And... I think it was caught. They caught the clip. I said, 
I had a cancer scare. It means that I had this swelling in my, on my neck, if you can see the line there. And my doctor felt it was something serious. I had problems with my thyroid. I'm perfectly okay. Thank you so much for all of your calls and your messages. Oh, this phone has been buzzing like crazy. I am perfectly fine and I do not have cancer. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay. So thank you so much for checking up on me. Thank you for sending all those messages. Go back and watch the clip. It was completely misunderstood. I am fine. I do not have cancer in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much. Anyway, you guys, uh, like you heard there, she cleared things up. Obviously, this, this clip did not go viral, like the first clip. And all I can say is that with my situation, I'm just going to relate it to my situation with my situation. And I think anybody, everybody actually needs to check whenever they have, uh, whenever they are having palpitation of art, like your art is palpitating so much, you are not sleeping very well. And you know that it's not that you're stressed. Whenever you're sleeping, you're just restless. And this thyroid thing, it, it, it has two one is hypothyroidism and the other one is hyper hypo and hyper hypothyroidism is a situation whereby you are not producing enough thyroxine for your body to really function the thyroxine you produce is an hormone the thyroxine is an hormone in your body that you need for your metabolism to run well for you know even your heart rate thyroid is a very small gland around the neck but it does a lot. I didn't even know about this until I had this situation. And not everybody that has thyroid issue, we end up having a cancer. Uh, a lot of times, thyroid issue is hereditary. So if you're having this issue of you ask someone, maybe your mom, your grandmother, or somebody in the family that has this kind of issue, like Mercy Johnson now, that she has, uh, her, her home sounds like hyper active thyroid because if she is having a surgery done which means the thyroxine is producing so much and it becomes really toxic exactly this is mine as well like that's why some people when it's not treated it becomes goiter and goiter is actually really deadly so uh in yoruba they call it big bear or something like that so I don't want to really educate you guys too much about this, but I'm just saying you need to check. Sometimes if you are gaining so much weight, you are trying so many weight loss, aside from hormonal changes in, you know, hormonal imbalances in women, sometimes it's coming from your thyroid. When your hormone is all over the place, it's coming from your thyroid. My case is is worse than hers. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a victim here. I'm just telling you. Because my thyroid situation started since, like, it was discovered in 2017, but I think I've had it longer than that. And it comes from my mom, my mom's side of the family, because my mom had the same issue. She had a, a thyroid gland removed, but not entirely, just a little bit. But mine was entirely removed. And I was told that I had a thyroid cancer, even though I rejected it. The uh, MRI, the scan, everything proved these doctors wrong. But that is why I always tell you that there's a lot of medical malpractices going on right now in the Western world, even though they are try to look as if they are the best in the world. I'm not saying all of the doctors are bad, but I'm telling you, uh, check your thyroid. Make sure you know what is going on in your body. And whenever whenever a doctor diagnoses you, I don't care wherever you live in the world, there is a lot of medical malpractices going on. I can say it boldly. I still have something I'm dealing with. Simply because this doctor couldn't find the cancer that he already told me that, oh, it's a violent cancer. It's spreading like white fire. But unfortunately, as my God that I served, we prove him wrong after the MRI. He still did not find anything, but simply because I told this doctor before the MRI that you're not going to find anything. There wasn't any cancer, thyroid cancer in my family, but in my mom's family, they only have this thyroid issue, overactive thyroid and not underactive. 
So for Mercy Johnson to have this kind of surgery, she has overactive thyroid. And I think because the thyroid gland is producing too much, it becomes swollen. And what makes it worse is when you get pregnant with your thyroid all over the place. By the time the pregnancy hormone started flying around, oh my God, is worst very very it makes it go worst so that's why it's very important check your thyroid gland if you are gaining weight and you are thinking that the weight is not going away you could be having hypothyroid you know your ty your thyroid gland is not producing anything for you and when your thyroid gland is not producing it means that uh, a lot of things are not really working very well in your body and if your thyroid gland is producing too much as well it means that you'll be losing a lot of weight, even though in my own situation, I did not. My situation is just so different. And right now I have like a huge keyload at the back of my ear, simply because this doctor just wants to prove himself as superior. Anyway, it's a story for another day. It's a really long story. But in all of this, what I learned is that whatever any doctor tell you, try and do a thorough research do like a very proper research and at the same time i'm not saying that do research by asking this asking that no read 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 watch videos listen to professionals you know on youtube there is a lot of information right there no you know after care because right now me too i'm on medication for life and more uh because i don't have any thyroid gland left it's been taken out I had surgery twice. This doctor didn't even do it once because in my scan before the first surgery, he's like, oh, they are doing um, try thyroidectomy. Like they are just taking one out. But by the time he saw me her, he said, oh, we found something in the uh, histology report. You have to go in for another one. It's a long story. You can find a bit of the video. I explained a little bit more because Mercy Johnson is a celebrity, obviously. A lot of people think it's like the end of the world. No, it's not the end of the world. Having to use levothyroxine or any thyro uh, thyroid producing medication is to replace that gland that was taken out of her. And thank God for her because it's not thyroid cancer. Mine is that, and I'm telling you, the day they broke the news for me, it's like, oh, sit down. There is cancer research not sitting down. There is this one, you know, the doctor was looking all sad. It's like a gloomy doomsday. But unfortunately for both of them, I wasn't really scared. They were like, oh, are you okay? I'm like, I'm okay. The doctor was surprised. He told me like, oh, I'm the only person that doesn't take it literally like it's the end of my word. I said, because I know I don't have it. But this doctor try as much as possible, you know. In this Western world, all they do is use scare tactics. They use scare tactics. They use coercion sometimes. So you need to really spot that. Scare tactics and coercion. Be watchful for it. Anyway, you guys, uh, people need to start, you know, start to listen very well to whatever anyone is saying rather than concluding and just making comments you need to uh check very well anyway you guys i want to hear what you think about this if you have any questions about thyroid thyroid medication some other alternative you know like uh holistic route i've seen some videos of people using that please Get in touch with me. It's fine. Put your comments in the comment section or you can go in my Instagram, you know, DM me if you want to know anything. I've been through it. I'm telling you, I've been through it with this thyroid situation. And this doctor actually created another problem with my parotid. So anyway, you guys, I want to hear what you think in the comment section below, guys. And if you have a question, like I said, my DM is open on Instagram for you. And however, because if you don't want anyone to see what you need to ask, you can go on my Instagram. That's the Andrew displaying down there. But if you are free, you can put your question below and I will endeavor to answer all your questions. Let's continue the discussion, guys, in the comment section below, guys. And on your way out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share if you like it. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Subscribe. And get that juice with the one and only Debbie Fashta. Yeah, yeah.